Yo. Woo. Woo. Mm. Y'all ain't gonna believe this story right here. And this just goes to show you, as a young black man in America, you can do everything right. You can stay away from the wrong crowd, play sports, graduate from high school, go on to college to be a starting quarterback, and still be falsely accused for possession of cocaine. Let's get right to it. Da -na -na, da -na -na. What's happening, YouTube? It's Hush Boy, and you tuned in Hush Boy Sports. This right here is a prime example of how hard it is to stay out of jail for a young black man in America. Shea Warts is a Georgia Southern junior starting quarterback, and he's been a star for the Eagles in the past two seasons rushing for over 1,600 yards and 18 rushing touchdowns, while at the same time passing for over 1,900 yards and 17 touchdowns. He is out there doing his thing. But his whole collegiate career was in jeopardy because the police mistook bird poop for cocaine on the trunk of his car doing a traffic stop last month. But I didn't come to yickety yak 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 your ear off. I can show you better than I can tell you. This is Hush Boy, baby. You know I got some receipts. And I'm gonna leave the link in the description box so you can check out these receipts for yourself. Let's hop right into it. Now, Shea Warts was pulled over on July the 31st after the police said that he was speeding. During the traffic stop, the police placed Warts in the back of the police car while they were doing a search on his vehicle. The cops start paying close attention to the hood of his car, shining the flashlight on the hood, claiming they discovered a foreign white substance. That's when the officer walked back to the patrol car and asked Shea Warts, what is that white stuff on the front of your hood, man? And Shea Warts came right back immediately and said, bird sh He didn't hesitate at all. He knew exactly what it was. But do you think the police believed him? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Of course he didn't believe him. That ain't bird sh That's cocaine. The officer repeatedly said that the substance looked nothing like bird poop. And instead, he tells Shea Wars that he've already tested it and it came back positive for a controlled substance. Huh. Warts insists over and over again that it's bird poop, but the cop clearly doesn't believe him. And the officer eventually tells him that it tested positive for cocaine. Warts was charged with misdemeanor cocaine possession and speeding. And he was also suspended from Georgia Southern University team activities after the arrest. All over bird shit. But prosecutors announced this past Thursday that they were dropping the charges, admitting that the substance on Wart's car was not cocaine. And the Georgia Southern Athletic Director announced Friday that Shea Wart's is no longer subject to punishment over this incident. Ain't God good? And Warts is expected to open the season as the team starter versus LSU on August 31st. This is a sad story, but I'm glad it had a happy ending. How the hell does bird poop come up positive for cocaine? Was the bird hanging out with Tony Montana? I can only imagine the pain this young man was going through thinking he lost his whole college football career over bird poop. And what kind of field tests do these police officers have in South Carolina? They got to be out of date if bird poop is coming up positive for cocaine. Shea Wurtz deserves a public apology so his name can be completely cleared. Y'all got the whole world thinking this man is Nino Brown. And he got the college campus looking like the Carter. This is exactly why I don't go out. I don't even like going outside. I don't want to be mistaken for another black dude on the run 
and I mess around and get some bogus charges. I want to earn all my charges. And Shay Wurtz, if you hear this right here, I would like to interview you. I want to hear your side of this story because I know you got a story to tell. So let it be known. But it doesn't matter what I think about this story. What do you think about this story? Let me know in the comments below. That's the end of this video. Hope you guys liked it because I sure did like making it. If you did like it, make sure you hit the like button for your boy, man. Show me some love. While you ready, you might want well to go ahead and subscribe to me too, man. Because as you can see, I'm working. Who you can follow me on Instagram. Come here. Come here. And if you want some of that Hush Boy merch, like this shirt right here, or that Steven shirt right there, make sure you go to hushboysports.com and go and get you one. But in the meantime, in between time, y'all be cool like y'all be cool, man. This is Hush Boy, and I'm out this thing, man. Y'all know.